Okay, good afternoon everyone. My name is Aad Portinga. I work for the Spatial Informatics Group in the Surfier Mekong project. And the title of my presentation is today, Surfier Mekong, Google Earth Engine for Natural Resource Management, the story from Southeast Asia. So Surfier, as you, as you already heard this morning, Surfier Mekong is a unique partnership between USAID and NASA. Um, we have several hubs around the world, but we specifically work in uh, the countries Myanmar, Laos, Vietnam, Cambodia, and Thailand. And our goal is to bring uh, space technology to the fillers level. So we want to support policymakers in the region with natural resource management, um, preparations for natural disaster, minimize the impact of climate change, although not everyone believes in that here in the US, <laughs> <laughs> and also improve uh, food security. <laughs> So why, why do we use the Google Earth Engine for that? Um, this is um, an image of a white paper we're going to publish this week. It's for the first time in history. We have uh, a lot of sensors in the air. We have the integration between different disciplines. We have the rapid increase of computational power and the rapid increase in storage um, space. And the Google Earth Engine combines all these new technologies and the integration of these uh, disciplines and really allows us to um, give policymakers the tools to make more informed decisions. So how do we do that? Well, you've already seen her this morning in the presentation of Rebecca. I expected many uh, guys here, so I put, them so, put in some nice ladies. <laughs> but. Um, we give training on how to use the Google Earth Engine. We gave trainings in Vietnam, um, in Thailand. We had over 200 participants joining those trainings. We built tools. This is an example of the EcoDesk um, we built in collaboration with Nick Clinton. Uh, we built a service water tool. And we also built, on the, built upon the GRC data set um, a flood frequency mapping tool. So in, uh, currently, we're developing an edX course on cloud-based remote sensing. We do that in collaboration with Google and the University of San Francisco. We hope to finish this um, edX course uh, in a couple of months, and it will be freely uh, available for everyone. And furthermore, I'd like to mention that tomorrow there is a presentation of Keras, uh, also related to Safir Mekong. It's on collaboration collaborate development of a regional land cover system. And there is a breakout session of the camera camp. Excellent timing. Everything. What, yeah. uh, if anything, have you learned already today that you need to integrate potentially into the website? I think, I think the, the training you gave on how to develop these uh, web systems I think that can be potentially very useful for um, people at the government level because they always ask, okay, we, we understand the technique, but we don't know how to communicate this with our colleagues. So if we teach them how to build these web apps, then they can uh, take ownership of their script, of their tool, and they can communicate it in their own language, in their own way, uh, do their own customizations, and um, use it in their departments. Cool. Thank you.